right guys, I've got my coffee here on the go and I'm about to call my Uber driver to take me to the airport. But um, update, I am going to Orlando today for a conference and fun. So I'll take you guys along and uh, lots of fun stuff coming up. So I'll show you what I'm wearing to the airport. So I've just got my Kendra Scott earrings and my Kendra Scott necklace that you guys, that you guys gave me the thumbs up to go ahead and get. So I'm wearing my Cooley Bar cardigan today, guys. Um, sun protection is really important when you're flying because the windows in the airplane don't block UVA, and UVA is the part of the is the part of the UV spectrum that penetrates really deep into our skin and ages us and causes us wrink causes wrinkles and uh, discoloration in the skin um, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So you really need good protection up there. I think people forget it. So I've got my, a good layer of sunscreen screen on and then I've got my UPF 50 cardigan. I'm wearing um, just this uh, comfy top from Olympia again. I've got my um, Adidas uh, little sports bra tank on underneath from my um, Avenue A box and then my aloe uh, leggings and this like snake skin print because I'm going to gator country so I figured I'd be festive and then I've got my new Adidas. Um, <laughs> they're called boots but honestly I would never run in these. They have like not enough support for any like actual exercise. I think they're just cool looking. <laughs> this is my suitcase. This is all the luggage I ever take with me anywhere, regardless of the duration of the trip. Um, I just can't be bothered with more. Um, and if I can't fit in there, well then um, I don't take it. <laughs> and then I'm just taking my uh, MZ Wallace bag that I always take with my laptop and um, a little a little zipper tote with um, all of my like cords and um, some hand sanitizing wipes because because you know airplanes are disgusting um, but anyways I'm gonna call my uber driver and um, buzz on out so there we go TSA a pleasant and fun experience. Like I totally would go through there again. They were so nice to me. <laughs> Super efficient. It took like, I don't know, two seconds to go through security. Helps that I have the expeditious uh, Ramoa. I highly advocate this suitcase. I'll show you guys how I pack it. I filmed it yesterday and I'll just sneak it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I pack um, for travel. I like to take a very minimalistic approach to travel in terms of what I bring because my rationale is that the more stuff I bring with me, the more stuff I have to lug around and the more stress it puts on me. I don't worry about not having something, I worry about having too much. And I find that 99.9% .9 of the time I have everything that I need uh, with just these essentials. I'll show you how I pack my suitcase. I'm a huge fan of my suitcase. I think it's a big um, component of it. It is a little pricey. I'll link it down below but I think it's a solid investment and I've been really happy with it. I apologize, I'm probably gonna say the name of the brand wrong, but it's Ramo Ramoa. <laughs> and this is a German company and it's German engineering and so it's really fantastic. And um, I just love this little suitcase. This is the uh, Salsa Air. It's ultra lightweight and has a retractable, and has a retractable handle. All right, so what's going in the suitcase first up is my running shoes, and I'm making use of, I love, uh, I just saved these um, Urban Outfitters little um, uh, shopping bags, and I find they work quite nicely for just uh, putting my shoes in. So I bring one pair of running shoes, and then I'm also bringing a pair of rubber flip-flops for uh, in case I go by the pool because I'm going to be going to Florida, so you know. And then this is my toiletry bag. I have a tube of lotion. I have some Cetaphil uh, face wash a small travel toothpaste, a toothbrush, I have a small travel size of contact lens solution, uh, one sunscreen, one benzoyl peroxide, an evening moisturizer, it is the CeraVe PM, 
and some allergy uh, pills in case where I go happens to be a high pollen season. I'm a huge proponent of these Eagle Creek packing cubes. I just find that they condense everything and keep everything contained and neat and tidy and folded nicely. And so you can see in, in this one square, I have a pair of pajama pants rolled up here, two t-shirts, um, one running outfit, my coolie bar, uh, UPF 50 uh, beach cover up, uh, one pair of black leggings, one uh, nude color tank, and uh, one sleeping tank, and, um, a ta and, an under and an undershirt. And then my bathing suit will also go in, in here. So yeah, you can see how everything is in this packing cube. And then I have two smaller packing cubes, one for socks. I bring about five pairs of um, ankle socks because I do not ever walk barefoot in a hotel room. Hello. Uh, toenail fungus. <laughs> and then I have a bigger one for undergarments. This is from um, the Athlete Leisure sort of online retail merchant Carbon 38. They send you one of these every time you purchase something uh, as sort of a poolside slash uh, getting around, scooting around type of bag. And you know, it takes up no space. You can see how nice the interior of the suitcase is. And it has these two um, mesh sides. And on this one side, there happens to be a little groove here where the retractable handle is. And that's actually um, okay because uh, the my running shoes fit nicely on flanking either side of that little groove and then I've just got my flip-flops wedged up in here my toiletry bag there accessible and he's good to go and then on the other side here I actually took my bathing suit out of the packing cube because um, the wiring was sort of not laying flat and I didn't want to mess it up and I just tucked it there you can see I've got my um, undergarment bag and my socks and then all of my clothes. Oh, and underneath I have that little uh, that little tote. The way I've laid this out, there's plenty of space in here in case I acquire things, uh, souvenirs or what have you along the way. And the other thing that I plan on doing <laughs> when I coordinate things just right, I have a pair of running shoes that are on their um, um, last few miles and my strategy is to uh, take them and use them on the trip and then uh, right before I leave I will uh, <laughs> drop them off at a uh, local running store and uh, donate them uh, for recycling so then I have more space in my suitcase if I need it. You guys was asking me if I wear perfume. I don't. Um, I'm really sensitive to it, particularly this perfume. All of a sudden I developed a sensitivity to a lot of the Chanel perfumes. They'll give me a terrible migraine like instantaneously. It's odd. Have you guys tried these uh, Glam Glow masks? Thirsty Mud? I think they're like hyaluronic acid based or something. I'm not entirely sure. They're sort of expensive, but I've always wanted to try one. You know I enjoy masks only for fun. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. I'm going to say it here. I don't think any of this stuff is worth your money. I would definitely not pay $126 for this double serum. My God. Travel exclusive. What does this even have in it? Paraffin mineral oil. This sounds like it would totally break you out. What is this? UV plus anti pollution demo? I'm intrigued. What does this do? Micron broad spectrum SPF 50 oil free. Okay, it's $58.50 for these two minutia sized bottles. 50 mLs. That's like a tenth of a liter you get in this. It's a chemical sunscreen. Oh, and it, oh, it's a combination chemical and physical sunscreen. So this one you would want to put on 20 minutes before going outside because uh, you're relying on the chemical components to get you to SPF 50. The titanium dioxide component will, uh, will, will start working immediately, but the chemical components need to film, form a film. Sunscreen non tinted. What's there in here that combats pollution? It says it's dermatologist test. They make it sound like all we do is sit around and test things in a magic lab in our basement. I swear. Do you guys see me doing that? No. Hand and nail treatment cream. What is this? Yeah, and then 
So I made it to Orlando and I'm getting a lunch before I head out. I got a salad. It looks pretty good. It is spinach and quinoa with edamame and garbanzo bean, carrot and salsa. And we have that and then head on in. Checked in and it's a little room tour. Coming in, we've got the uh, little kitchen here, which is just just right. We got a nice looking little mini fridge. Gotta say, the uh, wall art in here is actually kind of cute for a hotel. Nice bed. I believe there's a, that's a sofa bed. And I've got a nice closet. Oh, we've got a nice spacious balcony. I think there are three restaurants on site, so this is going to be a nice place to stay. That's where I am. So I'm going to get unpacked and settled and probably head to the gym. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym and it was wonderful. So hopefully, uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to go in, so hopefully I can take you guys with me and show you. It's, it's really nice. It overlooks the water and you can rent paddle bikes and stuff. So it's so cool and they have all sorts of like fun activities you can do. So it's a really nice resort. I wanted to conclude the vlog by showing you guys my um, what I brought in terms of my skincare routine while I travel. All right, so I mentioned that I like to keep my travel stuff as like minimalistic as possible. One thing that I typically do when I go to a, a place is I just purchase sunscreen that's enough to cover my body at the location and just, and then I, I actually gift it to somebody by the pool on my last day. That's kind of my pay it forward thing because I get so much free sunscreen in my uh, line of work that I feel like um, that's, that's sort of a, a way to pay it forward. If I need to purchase, I will. But this is basically what I um, what I bring with me. So um, somebody is asking me today about why I don't use the CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion. I actually do. I've just been keeping it in my travel bag um, and using the Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer nightly. Guys, you know I get a lot of this stuff uh, for free at work, but this is a great one, guys. It's got ceramides and hyaluronic acid in it. It will not break you out. This one is 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 really good. So I've just been keeping it in my travel bag because it's the right size. Um, and then I also, instead of bringing my normal 10% benzoyl peroxide, I have this La Roche-Posay Fancy Smancy Benzoyl Peroxide that I um, got. It's 5.5% and um, people really tolerate this particular one well, I've heard. I don't notice that it's any different than any other ones I've ever used, but I hear people really like this one, but you know, it is a little bit more expensive. It does have a nicer feel, I will say that. And then I don't keep this in my um, bag, I just added it in there. It's my different gel um, and then I just have a travel contact lens solution case and um, this Neutrogena pure and free baby um, SPF 60 it's marketed for babies but honestly you don't have to be a baby to use it it's a physical sunscreen so this will be my what I use in the morning all over my face and upper chest and neck um, and then I'll have my coolie bar for my body and then Cetaphil um, I said it feels okay. Um, they tend to sell this in little travel sizes. This is what I'll use tonight to take my makeup off with in the shower. And uh, then of course my Colossal Mascara and my Elsa Tinted uh, Sunscreen, my toothbrush and toothpaste. So After I filmed my um, how I packed my travel bag, I noticed that I didn't really explain what was in it and that you guys would probably have a ton of questions about, about it. And I, I thought it would be nice to, to lay it out in, in the actual hotel. But anyways guys, I am going to get showered. I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned tomorrow. Um, we'll continue the travels. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!